Hello everyone. Uh, thank you to everyone who submitted a entry into the map contest. Uh, this is what we're calling the finals. Uh, we had lots of entries. Uh, we are we really appreciate everyone who sent uh, a map in. Uh, we've asked Kaidi and Lin, our Chinese community managers, to whittle down the entries and we've got seven to look at for the finals. Very simple scoring system. Uh, I'm going to ask the guys to rate each of these seven entries in turn. I'll add up the scores at the end and the highest scorer will be the winner. In the case of a tie, we'll have a short debate over which of the tied ones will win. So here's map number one, uh, which is called uh, Feast Tower. It's got bosses around the outside, which is, uh, yeah. you know, with uh, the, yeah, the, the boss spawning points, which is uh, an unusual inversion. But the, the tower rises up in the centre and the colonies, I believe, are closer to the centre. Okay, so there's barriers for separating teams if necessary and removing them if, if not. Mm -hmm. You've got to go down three layers in order to get access to another player. Mm -hmm. anyway. Which is, it's it's an inversion of the usual, you know, kind of layout for these, where, you know, um, colonies are separated far in, uh, you know, far in distance. So yeah, there you go. That's, uh, there's map one. I, I'm going to ask you to uh, put your score from one to five in the, um, in the spreadsheet that I sent you earlier. Okay. Map number two is called The Pond and the Bank. Oh, sounds like a nice story. It's like water's on level five there. I guess and water might go up and down. I know, otherwise... Yeah, it looks like it goes between six and seven, right? Yeah, You've got nice. direct access to each other on the next level down. But non symmetrical. Uh, I like the comment. Uh, will you just do the underground part by yourself? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's, a nice, <laughs> it's a nice way to avoid that. In fact, was there an underground on Feast Tower no. either? I don't think there was. Okay, next up is Imprisoned. So you see, uh, on the left is uh -huh. what the map will look like at high tide. Mm. So much, so the map gets much more um, confined. This is really, really cool that you can only get to each other at high tide. It's a neat idea. Yeah. Fire ramp bridges in the design. Is that something we can do in free play? Everyone who submitted uh, is, is aware that, that we're not, they're not going to get a one-to-one -one reproduction of their map anyway. Oh, yeah. We're going to change things to make them work. Yeah. So if things like fire ramp bridges don't work, because I know you can't have them circular, anywhere where that does occur will change. It's just, you know, single occupancy of, a, of an island, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so for everyone's aware, so, so don't worry about the exact details. As, as I said to the map designers as well, we will change... John, when he's making it, I'm sure, will change things to make sense. Yes, John? Yes, I will change <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, number four is uh, simply called Islands. So this one, Liam, yeah. has an underground design. Uh, you know, this is surprisingly similar to Archipelago. <laughs> this is this is what I thought. There's, there's going to be quite a few of those in the on Saturday as well when we do the um yeah, the western entries. It's quite it's quite a pretty map that one. Don't know what everything is. Don't know what the green dots little dots are. We do. Oh no, aphids. we do. They're aphids. Oh, it's aphid plants. So it's an aphid plant map. All right, everyone in. Locked in. Lovely. Okay. Number five is called Little Hill. Got a much more um, angular design here. Mm. So dense resources in the center. It's not too dissimilar from um, uh, Basin. Yeah. None of these, a few of these have got like, similar themes where you can get to each other quite quite closely and you can, you can blank each other. Just wondering if it'd be uh, it'd be good to actually block that off and have it so that you had to go through the center to kill each other but but then you'd have you'd have a lot of free for all battles right in the center we should be offering obviously a variety mm. of uh of how things play um the next one right it's th this one is is what we might call an honorable mention it's presented as an extra level but think about how you might adapt it to be a free play map this is called harvest 2 <laughs> like the harvest but it's about how much food you collect instead of just leaves yeah. so we'd have to think about adapting this one straightforward bilateral design could be a oh, lot yeah. of fun maybe we overthink things sometimes for, for it to be free play uh, you'd, you'd have to put two more colonies in there i suppose they could be so at a severe disadvantage uh, on those <laughs> islands <laughs> or, or they could be got... considered food uh you know okay uh, so our final map is high shore Rather like the artwork here, mm -hmm. but uh, we're not yeah. here to judge art. Well, I know it's... Yeah. Colonies are fairly close to each other, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Certainly compared to the dunes. Yeah. Yeah. 
to. Yeah, they're all they're all in the centre, kind of rise, as it were. So there's a few spots at the around the edge of the map where fire ant bridges can be built. Everyone's got a little island, and they can they can all access that middle mountain, which looks like it's got loads of food on it. Okay. You've got your own personal aphid point that you can protect on the high ground. You could you I mean you could extend the bottom of the map, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, if add, I was add another if I, water patch. And... If I was doing it, I probably wouldn't have that one at the top. Uh, I'd bring I'd bring the whole thing down a bit so it was more. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, so the scores have been added up. Imprisoned and High Shore have twelve points. So now we have to decide between those two. It's quite a lot to like about High Shore. I like the um, the placement of the nests being not quite symmetrical, so you get a different experience each time. And this central mound. Looks like you could do you could do something with that, and there's the Titan areas on around the outside. So you've got you'll have battles for resources in the centre, but then uh, larger resources further out. It's a nice big long free play map. Feels like a, a proper free play map. It's very doable as well, isn't it? It's, uh... Yeah, it, it could be a, a you know a campaign map as well. There's, it's very familiar. There's, there's no doubt. There's no doubt it'll play well. Okay, so the other one to discuss is uh, Imprisoned. What? which was the other 12-pointer. Uh, it's just exciting and different, um, and uh, we wouldn't be able to do it at the moment because of uh, <laughs> fire and bridges. But the, uh -huh. the, the idea that uh, this gate opens and closes that puts all four colonies next to each other with absolutely nothing else to do other than fight is just really uh, exciting to me. And it'd make probably for like fast fast games, which we don't have many of at the moment, I guess, in uh -huh. free play. Yeah, I guess the, the water would almost act as like a timer, like building up to the final encounter with each other. You'd be you'd be looking at each other's armies and preparing, and uh, it'd be a bit of cat and mouse as well because it'd be a free for all in the middle. So you'd be like, if two two colonies were attacking, you might want to stay away a little bit, let them hurt each other, and then go in and finish them off. Our systems guy looks concerned. I'm Matt. not concerned. I'm, not concerned. I'm imagining. <laughs> so, uh, at the, imagining at the, the moment, we can't save. Fire ramp bridges uh, either um, in in a circle like they are here, but we can we can chop the circle out of it. Um, but we also can't have ants fighting on fire ramp bridges, so we're working on that. But we wouldn't be able to do it in time for this map. So we'd have to replace the bridges with um, something else that something had the same effect. and closes, yeah. Yeah. which we already have in the game. Right? I, I can with, think of uh, some workarounds that might work. We, okay. we could put the water in between the islands uh, the other way around and have the bridge connect the other way, so invert the other the, the whole thing, so just have the water reveal a ramp um, that, that allows you to go that way. I think that's, that's also a possibility. Right, so do we have a consensus? Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's difficult. I, I mean... Like both. Well, a more refreshing experience, I would say, in prison is, is, has got a has got to the edge a little bit. Uh, we have a uh, High Shore is a nice map, very doable. But I think we can all imagine already sort of playing it because it's that familiar yes. and that mm -hmm. safe. Yeah, prison's got Sounds something like... different. Congratulations yeah. to the author of Imprison. Uh, that looks like that'll be the one that the guys are making, and you might have even made them make some changes to their systems, which was not on the cards. Yeah, you're not supposed to have done that. It's not supposed to have done that, but it, it's apparently a good enough idea to convince <laughs> them. So, congratulations. Um, uh, John has a very short amount of time. He's got until 6pm to get that sorted. It's now cool. <laughs> Thank you very much for everyone who sent in an entry. Um, very much appreciated. Thank you to Kaidi and Lin for uh, deciding on our finalists as well. And then thank you to you three for um, making the tough call there to doing a little bit of extra work to get this amazing idea into the game. And thank you, Mike, for hosting this round. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for hosting. Very a kind pleasure. of you. A pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. <laughs>